Welcome back, and thanks for tuning in to episode 48 of Lab Padres SpaceX and Starbase Weekly Updates. I'm Lewis, your host. Now let's dig in. SpaceX continued building up its fleet of starships this week, with Ship 27's nose cone being stacked in the high bay on Monday. Starship 28's mostly tiled nose cone, meanwhile, was relocated to the ring yard in front of the bays. Work continued on Booster 7 as test preparations continue around the clock. One of the Raptors was removed from the booster a little before midnight. About 40 minutes later, a replacement Raptor was hoisted by crane onto the elevated platform and rolled under Booster 7. Workers removed a second Raptor from Booster 7 just a few hours later. These engines are suspected to be damaged or underperforming engines from previous tests. The second replacement Raptor was likewise lifted up and installed onto Booster 7 before being carried into place with the platform's scissor action. After the engine swaps were complete, the Raptor platform was rolled out and the full area work platform was raised under the orbital launch mount. The lifting hard points for overhead cranes were removed from the nose cone of Ship 24 as crews continued to prepare the vehicle for flight. Overnight into Sunday, covers were placed over the integrated hard points, providing a flat surface for aerodynamics and to apply heat shield tiles over. A third Raptor was replaced on Wednesday, and what surely to the chagrin of fans of Douglas Adams, the engine was number 42. On Friday, following a nearly two-week journey from Cape Canaveral, the barge carrying the ground support equipment recently scavenged from the Launch Complex 39A arrived in Brownsville. My good friend Mauricio from RGV Aerial Photography caught the barge at the dock as crews were already at work unloading its cargo shortly following its arrival. By that evening, several trucks carrying the high-pressure gas canisters and some of the large diameter water deluge piping were spotted delivering their loads to the launch site. Over at Cape Canaveral, the Crosby Endeavour towed a short fall of Gravitas out to sea for Starlink Group 5-3 on Saturday, heading for the Bahamas. Bob returned to port a little later with both fairing halves from the Starlink Group 5-2 launch, which took place back on January 25th. On Sunday, Crosby Skipper returned to port towing Just Read the Instructions and Falcon 9 Booster B-1067 after its record-setting 17.5-ton Starlink launch. Not much later, Booster B-1067 was offloaded and placed onto the docks, ahead of being folded up and rolled back to Roberts Road for refurbishment. Sailors wrapped up a busy weekend with Bob heading out to sea with Starlink Group 5-3 mission support. Just three days after coming back to port, Crosby Skipper towed Just Read the Instructions out to sea for the Amazonas Nexus mission. Early on Thursday morning, Falcon 9 Booster 1069 brought Starlink Group 4-3 into orbit. This was the 200th successful orbital flight of the Falcon 9. And there you have it, another SpaceX and Starbase weekly update brought to you by Lab Padre. We'll see you next week and thanks for watching. Lab Padre, out.